Hello and welcome back. Today we will be discussing a radical, or for me it's kind of radical, it's a lens, universal lens system that clips onto your cell phone or your laptop or your PC tablet or your Chromebook camera. I picked the one I have, I picked up off of eBay. It's an eight in one for $12.99 free shipping. Your price point on Amazon on those are going to be between 10 and $15, depending if you get a four in one, six in one, or an eight in one. If you have Amazon Prime, you can benefit from free shipping on that. If you don't have Amazon Prime, expect to pay between three and five dollars shipping and handling. Um, this is something I would highly recommend spending the time on eBay to buy. Um, the benefits of this particular system, it gives you greater use of your, your cell phone camera and you can play with the settings on your cell phone. Um, I use a, I have a little Galaxy 3S or S3 made by Samsung. The problem that I've run into is you've got to be really meticulous on how you put it on because the clip is a round hole and my camera lens on my phone is a square hole. It's a square peg and a round hole problem. But with that being said, all around, it does pretty good pictures. Um, this particular one, what I like about it is the clip. This is probably one of the best things about it. It's just a little pinch clip, looks like a clothespin. Um, this is the company that makes it. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I don't know if that last letter is an O or Q. But there it is. Um, if you open the clip up, you can see on this side, flip it around, and on this side, it's padded. This is to protect the surface of your phone or your laptop, or your Chromebook, or what have you, from being scarred up by the clippy. Um, this particular set I got comes in a little white box. 8 in 1 Universal Camera Lens. Um, when you open the box, you'll have, this is what you'll see. Tilt this a little bit. You, you'll find a clip and six, what appears to be six lenses. The reason why it's done that way is you have a couple lenses that are can be used individually or piggybacked. Um, the fish islands or the super fish islands is piggybacked by a 19 times multiplier macro lens. And you also have a macro lens that is piggybacked on another multiplier. You got a fish eye, your regular fish eye lens. You have a wide angle lens. You have the super fish eye lens, as mentioned before. You have a telephoto lens, and you have a circular, circular polarizing lens. Um, all of them have their strengths and their drawbacks. You will not take digital 35 millimeter quality images with these, um, but you can have fun. This first image I'm going to share with you is an image that I did with a wide angle lens with my cell phone set to panoramic. Um, it's kind of crazy because of the field of vision that the wide angle lens gives the camera. I made two complete 360 rotations and another 180 on top of that to get this really bizarre effect of the townhome, the outside of the townhomes in the apartment. Um, 
as you can see in the Im in image, if you look carefully, you, you, you'll you be able to identify certain things, certain vehicles that just repeat themselves. It's a cool effect. It's one of the reasons why for $12.99 free shipping, I think this is a good deal. It's gives you playroom. This next image is an image of my dog with the fish islands. As you can see around the edges, the whole square peg and around hole issue. Um, and that was, a lot of that is my fault because I tried to just throw it on and go. Um, I was, I got it in the mail and pulled it out and wanted to use it and the dog was sitting there and so I took the picture. It's, it's hilarious. The dog was confused, but, and this next image I'm going to share with you is the 55 or the super fish islands because of its field of vision and the way it picks up the image in order to get the full length of the image i started up with my hands elevated over my head and i made complete revolutions and as i was making my revolutions the ca camera the cell phone i should say would tell me to lower the phone each one of those if you look at the image each one of the little half moon shapes you see in there, that is a complete 360 rotation. Um, it is just, it's, it's wonderful toy. Um, and the last image I'm going to show with you is with one of the macro lenses on a penny. Um, I had trouble. It's a little bit, fuzzy because I had trouble holding, stabilizing the cell phone to get a good clear image. That is on me, the part of it that is clear, you see and you understand that, okay, it works. Um, but what I'm going to do now is a couple of these uh, images I am going to, or a couple of these lenses I'm going to demonstrate. One thing, I like is the, these come with lens caps. This is the wide angle lens. Comes the lens cap. These lens caps are snug. They're not going to fall off. Um, you throw them in your pocket or throw them in your camera bag or whatever. The lenses, the lens caps aren't going to fall off. They're a good heavy plastic and they work. Um, even in Texas heat, had them out, thrown them in. A little bag that I had connected to my camera strap, bouncing around in the heat. They didn't get hot, they didn't get soft, they didn't pop off. And we go. Now, what I'm going to do with the Clippy is I'm going to demonstrate on, this, on my Chromebook camera the effects. Um, I'm probably just going to do the wide angle, the fisheye, and the super fisheye. Macro ones are just real difficult to try to bring something up to the lens and it gets silly. It gets silly fast because I've already tried. Okay. Okay. That's the wide angle. Um, it's picking up. There's a little bit of lens flare right, right about here on my chest. But that's I think it's picking up a reflection somewhere. It's a good, like I said, um, there's also a little bit of lens flare back behind my head. But that that is ill preparation on my part and does not reflect on the lens. So let's move on to the next lens. Um, lens we got is this I believe is the standard fisheye. Nope, this is the super fisheye. Um, let's see. 
hopefully I am competent enough to get this screwed in. Um, another drawback I have found, sometimes these lenses can be troublesome screwing into the little clippy. Especially if you're in a hurry to try to get them in, sometimes they don't work. I'm going to hit this one, cleaning cloth real quick. Maybe we get a better thing. And this is the super fish eye. Uh, let's see if I can get that lined up. Oh, there we go. And this is the fish eye effect. Um, I can see that I don't have it perfectly lined up in the camera lens, but you get the gist of what's going on. This also has the has a macro lens, and sometimes it can be annoying. Because you go to take the lens off, you're not paying attention, the macro lens that's piggyback on it stays on, which makes it really fun to try to put the next lens if you're changing out lenses. Um, these don't, and it's probably from lack of, you know, lack of experience using them, but I can change lenses out much faster on my. 35 mil digital 35s. And this is the regular fisheye lens. It's a little bit smaller lens and works a little bit better. Um, get it into the thing and we'll clip it over. There we go. See? Like I said, the lower parts, you can see where there's a little bit of where the camera is picking up the edge of the ring. But like I said, you can fiddle with it and get it to work much better. Let me see. This, this here should be... This one here is the... circular polarizing lens if I can get the lens cap off it. Sometimes lens cap work too good. But this here is good if you're taking pictures through glass, water, um, it's just rain and you got raindrops or something catching light off leaves or other surfaces, your circular polarizing lens is a good thing to have. Um, We'll click this on here. I'm getting a little bit of my light on it from, okay. You turn the lens. And this cuts out a lot of the glare. Um, if you look at the reflection of my glasses, the way it turned now, you can actually see my eyes. Um, and there you go. You lighten it and darken it by just simply turning it like you would a CPL lens on a digital 35. And I believe this last lens that I'm going to show you, this is the telephoto. Oh, it's the fisheye. Let's see what this one is. I should have laid these out in the order I was going to demonstrate them, but Yes, this is a telephoto lens. This is a neat little lens to play with too. Um, when I get a chance and get time, I want to do the telephoto lens on a panoramic view picture just to see what we get. Here we go here. Uh, oops, wrong way. There we go. As we go, telephoto. Um, Let's see if I can get... Nope. When I did this, when I was prepping to do this video, it worked. It came out pretty good, but I'm getting some of my recording. Like, but you get the idea. Um, like I said, that's probably about the biggest drawback of these lenses is getting it lined up so you don't get the 
clippy in your picture or whatever. And if you do, um, you've got programs, Photoshop, or you can get a free download video, uh, program called GIMP, which will clean up a lot of that stuff. Um, until next time, have fun, take care, peace.